Watch you guys, been asked this video for quite a while and it's how to enable the 3D accelerator or the 2D accelerator inside VirtualBox. So here we have our VM VirtualBox manager and uh, we've got our operating systems here. I'm going to select the operating system I want to enable 3D acceleration on and then I'm going to click on the settings tab here. Okay, so now we've got this box open. What we want to do here is go to where it says display. And you can see our video memory settings is here and there's two boxes. So we need to enable the uh, 3D acceleration and also I'm just going to enable the 2D uh, video acceleration just in case there's a game that wants to be played on 2D. So what we're going to do here is pull this up to where you want to set it to. Now you can set this as uh, high as you like here and I'm going to click OK. Now once we've done that we need to get a, a guest editions for a virtual box here and I'll show you how to do that. We're going to go into safe mobile networking here because that's where we need to install our guest editions so we can enable the 3D graphics driver. So let's start our machine up. So we need to keep tapping F8 on the keyboard when we're starting our virtual machine and this is going to give us the advanced boot options. Now what I want to do here is come down to safe mobile networking and then I'm going to show you the link where you can download your guest editions. Okay so we're at the desktop now as you can see and we're in safe mobile networking which gives us the capability of accessing the internet and now you're going to need to get your uh, Vir VirtualBox guest editions okay so you can get this from the FTP site here of VirtualBox and I'll put the link in the description for you and what you want to do is scroll down to where it says the latest version in this case it's going to be 4.2.8 click on that there and then you want to look for the ISO image VBox guest editions there okay and download that I've already got mine on my desktop. Now what you want to do here is right click on this and use 7-zip to open archive. You can download 7-zip as well, that's a free program to download, I'll put the link in the description. And you want to look for where it says VirtualBox Editions times 86.exe, that's the 32-bit version. If you've got the 64-bit version of Windows installed then you're going to need to put the uh, 64, AMD 64.exe and we're going to run this okay and then click next and you'll see a little tab here that says direct 3D support so we're going to click on this and it's going to say it doesn't support Windows Aero so you can see here it wants to in install this basic drive we're going to say no to that and then click OK here and then click install install again and now reboot the system back to your normal desktop. So we'll just let Windows load up here. So now we've got this installed, all we need to do now is change our theme and uh, you can right click on here and go personalize and now you can pick any of the Aero themes and they should uh, give you uh, an Aero theme installed okay at the moment we've got the in basic uh, theme installed here as you can see it's very flat so let's install one of these and there we go that's now done so as you can see we've now got Aero installed on here and this is the actual uh, 3D graphics driver installed on a virtual machine. That's how you do it. So that's basically how you install the 3D accelerator and the 2D accelerator in a virtual box. And also install virtual box guest editions. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, hit that like button guys. It really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos when I upload them. And I shall see you again in the next video. So thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.